Let's make sure we are ready for some love for Steinitz. Uh, if you were here on Sunday, I talked about, I showed another amazing game of Steinitz, which was very similar to this, Steinitz Anderson. And I think it would be a great idea for you guys to also take a look at that if there you get a chance. Uh, that one was on Twitch. Yeah, I was in person at Tink Talia. It was amazing. I think I could make a good Talia. While Talia was slaying dragons in... Hello? Oh, hi, baby. Feeling any better? sick in years so I'm a little uncertain how to handle this should I just let it pass baby you want to go on your cat tree come on fish fish don't show your goodies oh yeah show your good sides nice nice all right he graced us with his presence too so now let's go ahead and get into stains I was gonna actually zoom in here a little but we'll just bring a laptop closer that seems to be the best at the time. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give some love to Stains. And uh, I am monitoring the chat closely, so please feel free to share your thoughts and comments. If you just want to chat, let me know. I do like to be back in class. I try to keep my online lessons as I would my um, in-person ones. Say something to the microphone because I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear people's ears. Alright, you wanna go on your catch again? Good boy. Go on. Aw. Alright, so I got the cat to sit down. Which year was this game played? Ooh, that is a great question. Um this one was 1860, 67. Yeah, this one was 1867. But, uh-uh, you're not allowed to eat anything, fish, fish. Sorry, sick cat. Not really sure how to handle it, so if you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know. The most he's ever had was a little sniffles. Okay, so, uh, this one, yeah, 18, ugh, 18, <laughs> oh, this is so hilarious for me, watching games from 1867, okay. Let's go ahead and start rock and rolling. So, um, this one is very, very similar, at least in the opening, to the one that he played with Anderson. And that one was amazing. I'll try to have the link set, uh, the link that we had in Twitch sent in the chat here towards the end of the class for anybody who want to go watch that too. Also, also, per usual, remember that in an hour, we are going to switch to Twitch and analyze your games. So, if you are playing some chess while you're having me in the background listening, feel free to save those and uh, load them onto Leechas. Have the link ready to send them to me. And if you have any older games that you want to share, that's perfect, fine, perfectly fine too. So, just make sure to have those ready. And, okay. So... Um, any, any suggestions so far? Any concerns? The one thing that I did want to mention was, I mean, I, I play this as black myself, so I don't really see any issues with it, but I think this knight c6 is very interesting because a lot of people play knight f6, not a, few, a lot of people play knight f6 with the suggestion of trying to play d5, like if f4 now, then you're going to have d5. So that's one thing to keep in mind, you can bounce between these two ideas getting the knights from c6 or f6. Um, the one thing that I think is more recent, I mean, I think, well, yeah, almost 10 years ago, <laughs> um, early 2010 to 2014, there was a lot of this g3 being played with knight c3 then g3. So keep that in mind too. It was very popular when I played lower rated Chinese opponents or Azerbaijan. Yeah, those two countries love their thing. Hey buddy, what's up? So yeah, we got a lot of different suggestions like these going, but anyways, this game is 1867. So there are no real, you know, there are no computers. If there were, that would um, raise some questions. Yeah. Okay, 
so first things first now that we are on the check we gotta get this king up right g3 is not the way to go just takes it and that's not a pretty sight you can't take back what's going there's not much else here so you gotta do this king e2 now uh newman played d6 now what do you think white should do also we're gonna take a quick look into d5 and analyze why d5 exactly isn't the best way Greeting from Chile, thank you. Greetings from St. Louis. So what do you think between D6 or D5? Any suggestions? Because here is kind of a critical position for black. Black has to be able to make good decisions. Um, yeah. Do I think the culture was stronger than Steinitz? No, I think they were very, very close in the level. In another life, Zucker Tort could easily be the world champion, and Shane's could be Zucker, like what, in the Zucker Tort's position. But oh, in New Jersey, I've never I've been to New York once or twice, but very briefly, mainly Legolas school. So I'm gonna mention D five a little bit first. D5, we kind of got to take it. Now, black has a bunch of suggestions. First, bishop g4. Um, the other one, if not bishop g4, could be something like just go back and give check. Or, even if not that, even if you don't want to give that check, I think those two are kind of the um, best ones. I don't think anything like knight of 6 might be too... Uh, um, too hopeful because you can't drop the knight, so you kind of have to give a check. Uh, let's go back after d5, we gotta take it. Let's just take a look at bishop g4 first. Knight f3 is kind of forced, castle, and now can we take that? What do you think about this position here? taking the queen I mean I want to but right now it's illegal so taking here is the best choice I think taking over here and not accepting is also kind of interesting but taking is uh, ultimately the best fighting chance for white and then you're eventually going to get yourself into this very weird position you gotta defend your d4 and you have this really, really weird king d3. When I was looking at this game, I just thought, okay, so can I just do c3? And if check, then king d3, and then if check, then I'll just, you know, run with the king. And this is just way, way too scary for my taste. And yeah. I am going to, I thought this would be a cool uh, position to actually Give it a second and ask, what do you think white should do? White has this one move that would potentially save it a little bit. So what do you think that one move is?
is so much fun. It, you can't really do this because checkmate's coming up. It's checkmate in two moves. Does anybody want to tell me where is checkmate in two moves? It is crazy game. And this is not what happened in the game. The game was quite crazy. But this would have been like a, a little better fighting chance for black. And yes, this is my living room. Hi, Pish Pish. Exactly, 94 and checkmate is inevitable. Yeah. I'm thinking potentially I guess 97 also works too, but that's just the easier way with knight e4. So we can't just do that. There is white has one single move to survive this. If you can call that surviving actually. What do you think that one move is? So the problem is this pawn is taking over squares. This knight is kind of uh, blocking your king. So what do you think? Seven exactly. Let's get rid of that. And if check, then you try to block it. But this is like a really crazy line. That's like the, kind of the only way for white to continue and hold some uh, counterplay. But you can see it's super, super duper crazy. You could even like take that first. If you take it back, then I can take this. And this is wrong diagonal. This is going on. It is such a crazy game. Alright, so yeah, that's kind of White's best fighting chance. <laughs> Let's go back, back, back. And even more back. So we got from here, we were like C3 was interesting, but then we were like, nah, what about King D3? Now I kind of avoided the C3. Now I want to eat you. Whoa, I want to eat your queen. And if like something like Queen H5, now instead of doing C3 that I get checked that my king has to go up. How can I try to find a somewhat safe position with the, for the king? Just throw that. Ah, oh, well, at least he's playful. Okay. What do we think here? Let's say we did this good thing and we need to put our king into a safe corner. Lovely, thank you everybody. Yeah, King C3. And now uh, taking is not exactly the best choice because we just take back. 
and we run and we block because we have to extra material we we have the luxury of giving some of it back and this kind of holds the position still very scary but it holds and white ends up winning so let's say not bishop d4 what do you think is the best move for white you have any suggestions gmpc Thank you, Amos. Yep. Well, that's the bad one. A6. Kick this guy away. If you can't exactly move it just around, because first of all, uh, this check exists, and then you have to move the king, and then he can eat over here, or something like even queen d5. Yeah, centralizing the queen. Then I want to just do knight e4. A lot of a lot of good stuff are happening for white, for black. Sorry. So a6, you can't exactly move this. So what can you do? So we can't move this knight, so we're going to have to lose it. Mm, Bishop f4, I don't really get this, because, especially because of this check and take. We could do maybe king b3 with that idea, but then takes over here. So that also doesn't exactly work. Any suggestions? Nah. What about maybe trying to uh, get this king to, you know, go to this a little safe place? How about that? I kind of like this idea, trying to, you know, push uh, over here. I want to eat it. I want to do king b2. Uh, if you try to run away, then I could try to... Um, Oh, I like this h3 that's being suggested in the chat too, honestly. Hey, maybe, maybe, why not h3? I want to eat pieces. If you take it, I'll take it back. If take, then king b3. If you don't move it, if you take it, well, great. I'll just take it over here and my king is uh, have a little safe spot. These pawns are protecting it. I like it. <laughs> is this bunk cloud opening? Not exactly. <laughs> it started as Vienna and then it kind of um, made its way into some really crazy stuff. All right, so let's go back. I don't, I'm a little um, tired of looking at crazy stuff. So... Uh, let's go all the way back actually. Let's do this queen e7. Huh. Now what do we do? We gotta move the king, right? You can't really exactly stop it. So let's do the king f2. You give check. Now, 
The big question is, should we repeat or should we do G3? G3, I agree. Now, if take, now we can do King G2. See, that's the cool stuff. Now, after King G2, Black has the, some interesting choices. One of them, Bishop D6. One of them, Free Pawn. Let's see, what else can we think of? I think those two, maybe Knight F6 could also be interesting. But the problem with Knight F6 simply is I'll just take it over here. You don't really have any checks to follow. So let's go back to king g2, uh, no knight f6. Let's take a quick look at knight d4. If knight d4, I'm gonna take it over here, attack your queen, queen moves. Now, should we exchange or should we give check? What do we think? So I'm seeing a lot of great comments in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. Let's keep the queen. Good choice. If we were to exchange it, it's okay, but the big problem is this pawn. I can't exactly just uh, continue developing because my, you know, this knight can't really move. There's bishop f3. And I'm having a hard, I'm going to have a hard time kicking this knight away and the, the pieces are much active. Yeah, black would have an easier um, development. Ooh. Uh, I wouldn't exactly gain the tempo because there would always be ish fives too. RT. And, uh, oh, Satranj. That sounds like Satranj, which in Farsi means chess. Anywho, I like Queen E1. You block it, I just develop, then defend. You move away, careful now, the potential of rookish 4 is also there. Now you move it, now I just do develop. I think bishop f4 was also cool too. Yeah, we are doing king safety. Right now my king is fine. That's kind of the fun part. Because your queen is so out there and my pieces are just developing because I get the chance to actually develop, this position is winning for a white. Even if black tries, that's fine, that's okay. I can even do cool stuff like this. Right? Yeah. This was actually quite funny because this was a game that Zuckertort played. And he won. Needless to say. Alright. So it's very, very cool suggestion, very cool idea. And it's not that after Queen won White's the winning, it's that this king has to go to f8 and this king has to stay around here. So then let's say you would play like bishop f4 and then something like bishop f5 would be fine or something like h5. This king has to stay around here because when you long castle you don't have enough pieces to cover your king up. And so it's kind of that same thing. Oh, uh, am I saying it correct? Uh, Satrant? Or C? I know sometimes it's read, it's, um, read as J. Chat, so could be... Sh I don't know if the S is S or SH, so fun stuff, I'm learning how to read a little. Okay, so let's go back to um, better 
days for black. Let's do no knight d4. Let's do high bb. Let's do bishop d6. You want to join in the class? Or you just want to hug? Who do you want, Peach Peach? Or that works too. So what now? Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. I love him too. He's just such a good baby. Yeah. <laughs> knight f3 is fun. No, knight f3, bishop h3. Not checkmate, but it is kind of scary. I agree. You gotta move it, and then black definitely does have considerable advantage to say the least. Okay, so not knight f3. So bishop d6, you can see that is stopping you from eating this pawn. You know, checkmate. Uh-huh. Um, so can I eat over here? That's another question. Uh, Faisal, I am not a medical student yet. I am studying to do the entrance exam to start next year. But the way that the ex studying for exam is going, oh god, it's never gonna end. Pin, I like that. But can I eat that? Is that for free? The only thing that we should be concerned is take, right? Because I can't exactly do that. Now I'll get the variety of checkmated. Exactly. Now I would have to do something like queen f3. You take here, I take that, and then... This is okay. This is playable. Um, The potential for queen e1. What do we think? Oh, I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's been a very eventful day with the cat. Uh, am I visiting US? No, I have a green card and I intend to live here for the rest of my days. I mean, I like the option of Europe. If I'm ever rich enough, vacation houses in every state and just, you know, travel around. <laughs> um, but no, I, I intend to live in US. Yeah, I like this queenie one too. If something like you try to develop and cut it, I can now eat it. No more problems here. Yeah, I think this would be the white's best way to continue. And this is so... we got so far off from the main line, from the actual game. And I think it was worth it because this is actually a very crucial position here. Literally, move 5. So, d6. The rest of the game is not as a crazy in-depth line. <laughs> we kind of already looked at over half of the analysis that I had for this game. <laughs> so, you're good. We're not, we're not uh, in any trouble. There is a cute kitty sitting here who might want to join our class sometime, but yeah, I have to do a little research on upset cat stomach. Ugh. Poor guy. Alright, so. One thing that we should be cautious of is bishop g4. That actually Newman uh, in this game also played. Now we eat this for free, take, and now we kind of have to take it to the king. Careful, if you take it to pawn, you drop this poor guy. And you could go for a knight d5 and then take over here and stuff, but this would give black the upper hand. So it's best to just take it to the king. And that is why I'm showing you this game, because it's such a crazy game. Now, if knight f6, what do you think black or white should do? Any suggestions, GMPC? Do you want to come tell the viewers what to do? If you have not seen that cute little clip of GMPC making suggestion moves, you should. Steve, 
what's up? Oh, I got cat hair everywhere, man. Oh, God. Oh. Um, yeah, I like G3. I also think Bishop B5 is worth considering. And if you cast them, I can just take it over here and then do Queen D3, go after those goodies. Yeah, I think that would be interesting. Um, but I also think G3 is definitely worth it. If you try to check, just King G2. King is safe. Yeah, either of these. Now, what about Knight E7? Oh, my boss. Sorry, that probably was my bad. I was trying to lower the volume so when I cough, your ears won't be tickled. Any suggestions? I kind of like this G3 idea. I think it could work again here too, but I also really want to get this bishop out. So maybe let's start with the bishop. Is this a puzzle? <laughs> Not exactly. This is a game that was played in 1876. This is Shane's game. Shane has played this game against Newman. And so we're kind of analyzing that game and we're kind of pausing to get some um, suggestions from you guys. Let's try to develop. I think Bishop E2 is interesting, but I still do think that <clears throat> the idea of a G3 is very safe too. If you want to continue that, you just have to be careful because of um, the weaknesses that your position has. So, Bishop E2, much better, yeah. Now, what should what should do, uh, what do you think Black's gonna do after Bishop e two? Yeah, we can try to get the Saber King. I think Long Castle is <clears throat> good idea, but I also think that the similar idea to try to go after d four and f four at the same time does work so if black wanted to try that that would be a valid choice too now newman just went for long castle now bishop e3 was played in the game i think now maybe g3 would have still been a fine choice or try to d5 it but kind of landed in this suggestion with bishop e3 and makes sense too Um, I am incapable of reading that in Turk English, Turkish, yeah, if it was English, Farsi slash English, I could read that. So, Bishop e3, check, now, King g3, now, Black did d5, now I want to know what do you think White should do, and a potential evaluation, who would you want to be? This is not a very long game. White actually won this in about uh, 20 moves, 20 more moves, so it's not bad. Where can you get puzzles? Um, uh, well, a lot of these puzzles, a lot of the lessons that I 
teach. I also shared the Leeches link for the puzzles related to them. So there's a bunch of them on Leeches that's uh, under St. Louis Chess Club. Okay, white definitely does have a, a more interesting, the, oh, definitely, I mean, this king is way more interesting than that king, but uh, we're not exactly looking for the in, interesting contest. So the position is kind of balanced. Yeah, white does have a little bit of spatial advantage, potentially powerful bishop pair. But at the moment, we have to kind of figure out what to do with the king, and we have to try and put it behind the pawns before we can do any serious stuff. Yeah, black king is pretty solid, um, and black is doing stuff in the center, trying to <clears throat> open up the center and go after white's king. Yeah, so it's kind of a roughly balanced, I want to say, but honestly, right now, I would want to be black. Bishop g4, king b8, e5, okay, queen g6. So far, I like all of these. Knight f5 is possible too, but just take, take, and that's not exactly uh, the ideal situation that we find ourselves in. So, check, uh, and king f2. What do we think about king f2? Good, bad, needed, not needed, too extra? Yeah, so I think White's trying to do that artificial castling with like King F2, move the rook, potentially King G1. Yeah, I, mean, I think King F2 is good enough. I think Queen D3 is worth considering too, but the take, take, and H5. This bishop is getting really tickled. Because they have to be careful, knight f5 also exists, and then g5, and stuff's happening, I don't really like what's happening, ah. Yeah, it's really scary. Alright, let's go back, so king f2, and now what? Let's say h5, attacking the bishop, bishop moves, now, black still wants to continue to open up the center slash king side, so f6, take, take, and queen f3. Now. Queen f3, yes, no, do we need it, do we not need it? Aw, Naka also says tickled. No, recently I, I've i been working so hard my whole life, I know I'm not ticklish, but I got tickled and I actually laughed. And I, I, was, I actually felt ticklish and then later on I felt bruised a little, but still. Yep, it is necessary, I agree. Something like King G1 is just a little too cringy, honestly. Alright, so Queen F3, take, take, and finally. Uh, keep in mind taking with the King, still G5 makes this position still a little questionable for White. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to give our opponent chances to get all happy. So, we take with pawn, keep the bishop here, leave a little, little room for the breathing, and we have an extra pawn, uh, sorry, we don't have an extra pawn, we have this extra uh, pair of bishops, so let's try to use them. Yeah, so g6, let's try to bring more pressure to the side that we actually can do something with, do you remember my bishop is co taking control over... Um, this diagonal and here black actually made a mistake which is I'm a little still not sure why black did this black played knight f5 why do you think knight f5 is a mistake because so far black has played really good and he had at least uh, equal position so 
what now? Why do you think, like, how can, what's going on, basically? is being very loud. Hopefully it's not bothering you guys. Yep, yeah, exactly. We kind of just get the chance to take it over here. And the best um, way for black to play this instead of knight to come into f5 was to play something like bishop g7 and maybe something like activate this bishop from here. And yeah, I think that would be the most uh, interesting way for black to go about it. But knight f5 and black kind of made a mistake. White got um, a little advantage out of it. Now, we it's so weird. Um, we started this game as like super crazy my king was all the way on like f3 and then we ended up looking at the lines where the king could end up on c5 <laughs> or like in a good way on like c3 so like we looked at this king flying king oh I mean, that should be the title of this uh, lesson flying king yeah um we looked at this like flying king and now we landed on like this kind of normal end game so i'm like whoa what the heck happened here all right, so what do you think White's trying to achieve? Um, almost that is partially true. There has uh, this like provoking uh, to get the exchange done is a great idea. But, no, I mean, that bishop on h3 was not doing anything. You could just let it sit. Yeah, see, the thing is that uh, black is a little hopeless right now. Why, you ask? Because after this c3, the knight is misplaced. The knight is not doing anything here. And let's say black tries to be all cute about it, develops. Okay, fine. Let's exchange. And you have these very weak pawns, and I get to win the um, open file, and that's why it doesn't really work anymore for you. Yeah. Black thought he was doing well. Yeah. Yeah, that night if I was a terrible mistake. Now, black can just go, I mean, black can try to activate the pieces, but that doesn't matter. We're just gonna push this king away and even more. Now, what do you think white should do?
Okay, I see a retracted message. Why? Don't retract your messages. Let me read them. No, 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 no. Yeah, retract that. No. <laughs> no, too early. You have kind of the right idea that you want to um, get your pieces to find, like do that final blow, but your pieces are not ready. Your drugs are not ready. Let me ask you, could your knight be improved? I think also h4 is a good idea, but um, what about your knight? What shall that poor knight do? Also, thank you, MJ Tyree. It's very nice of you. Yeah, we're, I'm so glad we managed to um, keep educating throughout the last the last year, this year, and we're we're um, getting some new uh, directions on how to try and open safely for more people. So quite excited about that. But honestly, one of the things that I'm very excited about for this year, except getting rid of MCAT, is that the club is doing expansions so i'm like very like this is something that i've been hearing about for like years now so i'm really excited to see how it's gonna play out like i know that um the club has been working on like uh like they got some of the, the new like the block of it and like i saw i've seen the plans the blueprint like not the not the actual blueprint like the video uh blueprint of it and i'm so just like so excited i just I really hope that there are um, openings soon, the constructions are done. I've been fully vaccinated, I want to go out, well actually technically I want to go out to the club, but not that type of club, I want to go to the chess club. This should be a meme. Why are you getting vaccinated? To go to the club. The chess club. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so I'm gonna stop being uh, a little weird and yeah. Oh yeah, of course, Gotham Chess is really great. I'm so glad for everything that the streamers have done throughout last year to uh, bring popularity to chess. And with the Queen's Gambit, it's just like chess got everywhere, man. Alright, yeah, Knight D3, thank you. Almost, I saw that earlier, uh, Santi, sorry, I took a little while. Yeah, Knight D3, Knight E5 is the best way. Now. When the knight gets to e5, honestly, here b3 is just like, you want to eat my pawn? Uh-uh, not happening. But when the knight gets to e5, this rook f7 is um, like the killer idea. Also, this knight jumping to d7 is another. So the rook tries to go, okay, let's keep cooking this rook. Now, what do you think we should do now? We are like three moves out from winning. What do you think is the way? To be completely fair, there are multiple ways of winning this. Oh, big stretch from GMPC. Move the king. Interesting. Why would I move the king as white? As white, I want to try to uh, somehow uh, get get you like few checks and get my pieces in there. And I think something like rook f7 and then rook g7 is also very cool. I think actually rook f7, rook g7 might be the fastest slash easiest way to win. You move this and then I'll just bring it to the other side. Yeah, I think this could actually be the easiest way to win. But anyways, uh, Stainis wanted to be trickier and fancier than me, so he went for b4 and after rook a6. Now, let's see, what would you think white should do if rook takes a4? Corbin. Exactly. Now
knight d7 check, king moves, knight c5, give me that rook. Same thing have actually happened in the game, but the difference that rook went to a6, and after knight d7, this is still super duper winning. Uh, I, multiple ways of actually winning this. One of it is just b5, trying to trap the rook, if you try to move, hello, if you try to go over here, then I can just bring this rook over, try to go that way, or I can just be like, you know what, I just want to eat this. This is like, what, plus 10, 8, whatever. This is like super winning too. So, uh, not that, let's go back. Yeah, that was kind of the big game that I wanted to show you. Now, I'm going to share, I can't actually share the link with you. Um, let me see, uh, maybe I could type the link in here. Leechess.com or let's do that study let's do that so all right so you guys try to see if this link works because hopefully this when the, this link does work and you will have access to this game and uh, some of the previous, uh, like the the game that I did right before, this game was, uh, I did this on Sunday, so it's the uh, game is also on Twitch, the analysis, feel free to go look that out too, it's the game between Stainis and Anderson, it was such a cool game, I'll just give you a little spoiler, what, alright, so, uh, feel free to check that out too, there are other puzzles in this study, if you can open it, let me know. Um, and yeah. So, we're gonna take a short break. Um, and we are doing your uh, segment of Switch to Twitch. I'll see you on Twitch in about 10 minutes. Please have your games ready in Leech's format. So, um, yeah, ideally you can send me your games, Leech's link to a game on leeches we love leeches so have that we're gonna have a lot of fun with it okay so i will see you guys in about 10 minutes don't forget to have some games for me and if you have to go thank you for being here i'll see you